Hi Gemini, this is Jess with your March 2021 general read. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Uh, recognition, people not hating on you may be a, a challenge. <laughs> you have some haters out there, Gemini. So, and, and um, people may even try to throw that on you, which I don't feel like it's true. But you do have haters, so be careful with that. For those of you, and it it looks like an argument, a fight, a fallout may come up. I know some of you may have already experienced it, but if you've not, this week it may come up. So be careful with that. Someone also, uh, something little can turn into something big. And next thing you know, you guys aren't talking or some changes are happening that you really do not expect. So there's that. Self-employed, uh, if you're employed, Gemini's, you may have uh, someone has a crush on you or vice versa. This could be the, the start of a work love affair. Uh, others of you, I do feel like there's a lot of niceties. That's the way I'm going to word it. Niceties, like people are really being nice and kind of going above and beyond at the workplace for you. So it, it looks kind of good. I wouldn't say really good if you are working um, a traditional job looking for work. I feel even though some of you may already have gotten the okay, the approval. Yes, we want you. And now you're kind of waiting for your due date. Others of you, it's coming in, it's going to come in hot. So be ready that you could be getting some positive feedback regarding a job. Um, and you feel, I'm not feeling nervousness. You may be experiencing that just a little bit, but I feel a little bit of, um, conflicting energy inside like you may feel a lot of buzzing inside um is what it looks like to me those of you who have your own employment self-employed gemini's you're a little confused you don't know what the hell is going on with your business where you want to take it if you want to continue to do it should you start it? it's a lot of gray area and it's a lot of possibilities and what ifs and i just don't know and when in doubt do nothing and that's what it looks like you guys are doing nothing at least not right now until you can get a better understanding of where you're going with business you also may need to sift through a liar um, there may be a competitor that is evil they will stop at nothing to get what they want so be careful but you know that you know you have a lot of distrusting people around you you know that you have unethical people around you too gemini and you are taking note you're taking note um, especially if you have competitors and that sort of thing it looks like you're taking note you're being very strategic of what you share and what you say um, you also may feel like it's necessary to lie or withhold information and omit it because for, for all, your own self-protection, this is not just for the part I just said, it's not just for Gemini self-employed people, but this is f any of you that can relate to that part. There's a lot, you're feeling a little bit, like I said, conflicted internally. Um, but you're not saying anything about it. I feel that you're overcoming any mental blockages that you've had and you're going to really start to be on go mode, like big time go mode. And you will blink and we'll be in May. I mean, seriously, we'll, we'll pass airy season as if it never happened. Home life looks really good. I feel like you guys may up and move. This is karmic. Some of you are moving. You have no clue that you're about to move. You have no clue. You think that you're going one place. No, you're going to end up someplace completely different. Let's see how that's going to work for you. How are you going to like it? Oh, great. Great. I mean, just be thankful. Say your blessings and be thankful because this is a blessed move and change and opportunity for some of you. It is because of new work employment between you or another person. But even where you're going, for some of you where you're going, you're going to start a business um, there, probably with you and your significant other. I see a lot of financial improvements as well. So that looks really good. Congratulations for those of you who are moving. Others of you, it could be just a design, like you're putting more time and attention into your home is what it looks like to me. Or you may start a business outside of your home. I see that as well. So home life looks really good. Something unexpected, but it's a, a blessing um, and it's karmic. It's designed to um, reward you. For any of you who are interested in that Gemini 2021 yearly, click the link in the description box below so you can find out what's coming up for you because I've mentioned in your yearly all about your karma and that's the theme of your year this year is karmic change. If you're on, if you're, if any of you want the extended love reading after hearing the love reading, you can find that in the description box below as well. Let's get into love while we're at it. 
Gemini singles. Well, you are still trying to get over the past. There's some things that may have come out. You're kind of accepting things for what they are, even though mentally you still may be a bit blocked or challenged. Um, hopefully nobody's locked up or in jail, but I do feel that for some of you, you have been a prisoner of your own thoughts for quite some time. You may still be living there at this time too, which is challenging you moving forward and meeting someone new. The cards are saying that it's, it's safe for you to love. Um, this could have been a marriage or a very significant relationship, one that you probably wanted to go in that direction. And it has affected you quite a bit. You do realize that. But, you know, um, in time, now it's safe to you, for you to love or some of you may not feel like it's just safe just yet. Who's coming towards you? Well, people who are kind of like you, but they have evolved past that stage. Um, they don't want a frivolous fly by night affair. They want something real. They want something deep. People coming towards you, Gemini singles, they know what they want. They've been single for a while. These are people that'll tell you. I'm single. I haven't been with anyone for a long time because they know exactly whatever they've gone through. It matured them a great deal and they know how to handle people. They know how to deal with people and they expect the same in return. I feel if you try to give a new person a chance, it'll be too much for you to deal with because their expectations will be unrealistic for you, at least at this time. So Gemini single ladies, I feel that you have gone through quite a bit in a past relationship and you do still love this person. They probably want to come back in and work things out with you, but you're not too sure about that. You don't trust it. You don't trust them. This could be vice versa where someone is having a hard time trusting you as well, but it's saying that it is safe for you to love. If it's new love, it's definitely safe for you to love someone and if you're having issues you're my single ladies with trusting someone that did nothing to you <laughs> um, let them know you know find the right words to express to them why it is a bit of a challenge for you because it looks like it could be quite good a new person right if anyone from your past yeah your past is waiting on you they're thinking about you mm -hmm. they're, they're trying to figure out how do they get you back this is gemini ladies you do still, you're still attached to your past as well, but you have a lot of people who are attracted to you as well. So it really will be up to you whether or not you go to the past or the future, but it is saying that you need to kind of, you need to go toward the person that you can freely love without fear or without defense. Gemini single men, well, you've walked away too. And since you've walked away emotionally, you've guarded yourself. You're so guarded that a still beam couldn't break you. Like you are really solid um, and unpenetrating. Uh, you've closed yourself off to the past and even to some extent the present. For some of you, you may be accepting that you had to let someone go. But are you? Because you, you've changed and it is in a way that allows you to meet someone new. And in fact, what it is doing, it's making you even more connected to the past. It's hard for you to let someone go. Now, this could be vice versa. It may be extremely hard for someone to let you go. And if that is the case, you're serious about letting this person go and not allowing them back in. And they're just as serious about keeping you in their life. <laughs> so, so some of you are serious about staying in someone's life that may not want you anymore. Or vice versa. And it's going to become more and more apparent when we get into um, in, in airy season. You're going to be more and more affixed with that. Like they're serious about you or you serious about them. Cancer season is going to be very apparent that someone has left the building emotionally. And by Capricorn season, if you're still letting this happen, well, someone is going to be hitting rock bottom. So be careful with the connections that you have. It doesn't seem to be very healthy. And hopefully it's not. You doing it is someone doing it to you because it's going to be very difficult to disconnect from someone here. Couples. Well, there's issues. Mm -hmm. This is a classic case of someone wants their freedom so that they can play games in peace. Right. They want to play games in peace. I feel that someone is still attached to their past. And I have to tell you, for some of you, I do see marriage. I see some of you getting married. I see some of you taking things to the next level. But someone's past can come back and be a bit of a problem. Um, 
some of you have some people who are so dogmatic about you. And again, this could go vice versa, that they are manipulating energies because of, you know, the powerful connection that they have with you. Okay. So someone, whether they are physically contacting you, even if they're not, they have an ability to kind of interfere with your relationship. Someone's doing that. And I feel for, um, so there's that there's either, you know, someone trying to come in and interfere with a relationship that honestly is already challenged, right? Already challenged. Some of you feel some of someone here is feeling neglected in a relationship and that's making them want to reattach to their past. Okay. And they don't know how to get what they want out of this person. Someone here is also feeling trapped. Okay. Um, wanting to escape, wanting to just cut this loose and be done with it. But it's almost like they can't. I don't know if it's like some type of, I don't know if it's because they bro they're broke and they have no money and they have to stay in this relationship or it's like, you're all I know, or I'm indebted to you. It's something that a person feels stuck and trapped to something that they would rather want to be out of is what it looks like to me. The challenge here is that someone is not comfortable with explaining that or admitting that, Hey, I just want to be free. Well, give me a year, give me three months, give me six months, give me some time just to get myself together because the other person knows that that's, you know, this is bullshit. You don't, <laughs> it's not about time. You just tell me the truth. It's, you know, that type of thing. Um, and I feel that, you know, I, I don't, I'm not saying that I see a breakup here, but I definitely see a breakdown in, are we on the same page? Okay. Looks like communication is going to pick up between the two of you though. Um, and there may be this all forgiven, right? We were in a bad place. Let's try to work this out. I, I'll do whatever it takes to work this out. Um, and if that is the case, whoever says that I will do whatever it takes to work this out. They're going to be resentful in the future. Uh, because they'll feel like, well, I had to beg you. I had to grovel. I had to do da 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 just to be with you. Like, what did you do for me type of thing? So I would say it's kind of like um, a tiny web that's being weaved uh, because someone is going to feel like they're being used or taken advantage of as time goes on because they, they're the only person that is actively still invested in the relationship. So as I said, if you're interested in looking deeper into the extended, you into the love relationship, you can look at the extended link. We, the words, they, they seem to be escaping me. But if you're interested in the extended read, you can click the link in the description box below. There you will find all the details that we go over. If you want a personal read with me, you can click the link to my website, set something up for yourself. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Gemini.